and as per your new syllabus i have seen the questions in your uh, paper uh, in the 2022 right uh, i was observing your paper april month so it it is quite changed the paper length is quite lengthy now previously there were only 6 to 8 questions but nowadays na there are total 30 to 33 questions theek hai unke parts nahi hote hain there are uh, right as like these questions na there is no bifurcation all questions are individual so uske andar aapke data bhi iske questions bhi hain theek hai aapka networking bhi hai there is a few inclusion of html programming as well right so everything you have to look after but i have observed this tma in this tma there are few uh, more subjects uh, sorry chapters which is included here as you can see here these are the chapter i am going to teach you they are the important one like chapter number 12 chapter number 13 okay and chapter number 3 uh, and 1 these are the very basic one chapter but there is a one thing uh, free and open source software what what they are these are the software which you can freely use right why we are seeing open source software because the source code of this of these kind of softwares na are available for everyone if you will master in a certain kind of version and if you want if you know and if you have confidence that i can do something new under this uh, domain so you can uh, release your own uh, code in this software with few more advanced features so that is fos free and open source software now here you can see that list out the benefit of open standard and give example of open standard there are the few other other open standards so when we'll discuss this chapter number 11 na so uh, we will discuss everything right but i am going to give you the solution any one question right now have a look here for two marks question there is a word limit 40 to 60 minimum 40 maximum 60 but in four marks question there is a word limit from 100 to 150 you can see here so when i will start your syllabus i am going to give you certain assignment to write in the notebook so please write just uh, maintain this length criteria for the answers not more than that please do not write any such kind of too much theory right there is no requirement at all do your practical time to time whatever the practical we will discuss in the class please do it as it is as a homework right on the same day or next day maximum differentiate between uh, now you can see here this question uh, what is the question number this is your question number 4 again it has choice you need to do one out of two now you can see here look at the chapter number 26 what i told you total 29 chapters i have seen in your textbook okay this is your chapter number 26 right and differentiate between server virtualization and networking this is actually uh, the chapter which is regarding with latest trends right currently going on in the networking or in the it firm list out the ways through which cloud computing can be deployed okay so i when i will give you the solution of any one right and later on when will uh, when this chapter will start now will uh, do each and every topic now you can see here they have included your chapter number 27 and 28 as well okay but i have seen uh, your paper uh, your question paper right so that question paper i have seen but in that question paper na these two chapters are not included but in tma it's include so maybe it will be uh, it, they will come right see uh, length wise na they are not the lengthy one chapter they are hardly taking one one and half class and it will be complete kyunki pura theory hi hai ye aapka apart from your uh, c++ programming so in this question na uh, i will give you the solution of only one right now here you can see that the last question is a project based question again it has choice also you have to attempt uh, any one out of two right so in this question na basically it's a coding question theek okay? hai in this question you have uh, given the few codes over here right so what you will do 
यू जस्ट हैव टू सिंपली फाइंड आउट दी रिजल्ट एंड ड्राइव इन योर टी एम ए ठीक है सपोज दिस इज दी क्वेश्चन ओके इन दिस क्वेश्चन ना बेसिकली ये क्वेश्चन सारे मुझे एर प्रॉन क्वेश्चन लग रहे हैं वाई द रीजन इज दैट कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर बट हैव यू सीन दे हैव डिक्लेयर इन टीचर हेयर ए एंड बी properly initialized but they are not uh, declaring big so rest of the code is perfectly okay that code having the capability to give the answer but there is a lacking point there is a error right big is a right word which is not declared okay so yahan par error hogi secondly look at this c++ is case sensitive okay c++ is case sensitive now what is the meaning of case sensitive case sensitive means ki you have to look after every time the case of the letters right suppose a letter you have uh, used somewhere in the program in small right in the initial especially when you will declare the variable right in the small or capital so you have to look after this thing every time throughout the program you have to maintain the same case right of that particular letter in the program otherwise your program will not execute now what is the lacking point in this program actually they have declared two variable first of all look at the spelling of int it should be in small letter i should be in small but here i is mentioned the uh, capital and i or j mein aapka koi problem nahi aayega it is perfectly fine i yahan par capital hai so you can use cap in capital throughout the program execution but okay and that they have used they have used i here in capital that is okay they have used i here in capital that is perfectly okay but look at the spelling of c out and return okay what will happen c out uh, in c out c should be in a small in return actually they all are keywords and in c++ na all keywords are in small letter okay and look at the uh, c out c is capital again it's a error uh, return r in r is in capital again it's a error okay and you can see here uh, initially they have mentioned j in small letter but they are mentioning j in capital letter okay so this is again an error here this statement will work this statement is perfectly fine because a uh, case wise i is in capital and j is in small letter that is perfectly fine but there is a error in this statement in this statement and last two statement okay now here you can see that in the next program int m equals to 5 n equals to 7 int x y z now uh, there is a error this type of uh, statement is not allowed right x equal to m plus plus this is the post fic uh post uh, fix uh, right increment and next is your prefix increment right z is what z equals to x minus minus right that means it is again a in uh, decrement and it is always be working on the current value of your variable okay so these statement are perfectly okay but there is a lacking point in the third statement which i have encircled it is not working so all the codes are error prone so what you will do here i am going to give you the solution of this question explain oop explain object and class with a suitable example theek hai to get the full marks in tma are you getting my point is it clear to you yeah right so these kind of things we need to practice aur hum log practice karenge when we'll do the c++ programming so uh, today what i am going to do uh, i'll give you the solution of this tma na within two days right i have discussed already with you right so today uh, what i am going to do with you uh, first of all i am going to show you the syllabus syllabus mein aise main aap logo ke sath discuss kar chuki hu but fir bhi ek bar main aapko dikhana chahti hu and today we are going to start chapter number 1 of c++ programming now this is your computer science syllabus which is totally incomplete from my side because i have observed your previous year question paper i have observed your uh, current tma previous tma so you can see here basically 
under this uh, module number one, computer fundamental, I am going to give you the brief of regarding specific chapters because the reason is that in module two na there are few more chapters, right? What they are? So first of all, uh, according to your TMA na and uh, so I will generate a syllabus with chapter tagline, okay? And I'll give it to you. But this is the information from my side. This is totally disturbs labors. Okay, it is not in, uh, complete in any sense. Module two is totally incomplete. It has included all the chapter of your C++ programming, but not other one like entrepreneurship or uh, societal uh, trends, new trends in IT or uh, HTML database. So these chapters are not included. So I'm going to include in this. So we will discuss uh, today that first chapter introduction to C++ programming. Okay, these chapters are basic one. So what I am going to do with you in week two days, I am going to take the chapter from module number one and four days we will discuss C++ programming. Is that okay with you, both of you? Because this pattern, we will maintain both of the unit, both of the modules. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Now give me a, uh, here you can see that. There are total 29 chapters as I have told you. And chapter number one to I guess 11. There are total basic chapters which are related to your module number one. And chapter number 12 to I guess Chapter number 12 to, I guess, 23. This is the chapter regarding, yes, web designing. So chapter number 23, let me check database, yes. So this is the chapter about database and HTML programming that we'll do later on. Uh, because two days are enough for these kind of chapter, we have to maintain, first of all, C++ programming. So C++ programming chapters are from chapter number 12 to chapter number 22. These are the chapters, right, which are related to your C++ programming. About to be 11 chapters you need to complete for C++ programming. Rest of the chapter we will be taking for, uh, right, your uh, other part. So chapter number 23 to 27 mostly. Okay, these five chapters are related to your like database and your networking, your uh, uh, current trends, everything. Okay, now here you can see that. Uh, the question which you have seen under the TMA now, that is came from this chapter, open source resources. Okay. And uh, you can see here, few chapters, there is no requirement to do, like these chapters. They are the chapter related to your Microsoft Office, right? Basically, these uh, this is your open office. So that will not do, okay? Because our first priority is C++, right? So one second, I'll open. Yes. Ma'am, I have a question. Yes, Leon. Uh, what I want to ask was, in March, the practical will be there, right? For April yeah. exam. So do we have to make any practical file for computer science? Yes, I have done the practical file and I will give it to you. I'll upload it in the resource section. Okay, I'll show you. One second. I'll show you. One minute. Because these things should be clear now. Nah? Otherwise, so on the daily basis, we will finish our target, syllabus wise. So,
Yes, this is your file, I guess. Okay. Actually, uh, what you will do here, there are total 21 pages. I'll upload it in your resource section today itself. Okay. So you need to note it down. Okay. Okay. I have done all the programs, maximum important program under this. So you just have to make the file like this and you have to pin down all the work of your practical file like this. And please use the black and blue ballpoint, uh, blue pen, okay, for the nice representation. As you know that at the time of practical in invigilator can check. So it should be present and you need to do one thing. When you will go for your practical, nah, just try to do one thing, just revise your all the codes. Maybe examiner will ask. Okay, right? Any code, any uh, thing, right? So you can see here total 21 pages are there. So today I am going to upload it and along with your chapter number one, chapter number one uh, PDF. Okay. I have done the uh, notes for you. Uh, give me a second. Let me show you the uh, material of chapter number one. Actually, what I am going to do for my students now, you are having textbook. That is not a new thing. Okay, you just have to uh, write, need some extra material to learn, right? So I have done few, uh, I think so this is regarding one second. I'll, this is chapter number 12. Okay, it's not chapter number one. Yes, as you can see here, these are the notes, right? For your quick revision. And when I will give you the worksheet, to write the answer in the computer notebook. You have to maintain a very nice notebook. Okay, both of you, right? And you have to submit me those uh, notebook work, right? Make a PDF and submit me in the uh, discussion section. So you can see here, uh, when we'll finish the chapter number 12 now. So I have uh, prepared the, some worksheet for you, notes, chapter notes. So these three things you need to practice every time, right? And after two weeks, uh, means February onwards now, Wednesday is the day for test. Are you getting my point? I'm going to take your test as well. Right? Okay, okay ma'am. So here you can see that this is the worksheet from your in, uh, chapter number 12, Introduction to C++ Programming. Here you can see that. That you need to do, note it down in your computer no, uh, notebook. Okay? Especially question answer. Okay? Yeah. Uh, right? Especially, uh, I am interested in question answers, not any other thing, because objective uh, part we have discussed in the classes as well. Okay, so that will be covered. So this is the study material from chapter number 12. This is your book PDF. These are your chapter notes for your quick revision, not for writing. Specifically, these notes are uh, for your quick revision, not for writing. And this is the worksheet for writing. And when the programs will come, we will solve the programs as well. Okay. Now here you can see that the first chapter uh, of C++ programming and according to your book sequence, it's a, it's a chapter number 12, introduction to C++ programming. So as you know that we are already the user of internet. We are already the user of computer and different kinds of application software. So have you uh, heard about this term? ever before what is c++ programming in your sense students what is c++ can you tell me yes both of c++ you c++ is high level language yeah anything else you want to say Nishin? object oriented yes it's object oriented uh Nishin, you want to say anything Okay. Uh, now, I'm sort of new to this. Sorry. Okay. Now listen to me. Why we are saying it high level language? Because we are the user of the computer, right? Actually, computer always having three layers, right? Bottom layer, middle layer, and higher layer. Okay. Bottom layer are totally, okay, whole soul, right? In the interaction of computer only. There is no interference of anyone. Whatever the processing is going on, that processing is going on automatically. Okay. Now, the middle term. 
middle uh, right middle level provide the connectivity between the bottom layer and higher layer and higher layer is the layer of user right where c++ programming exist and use and who will who is going to be used user computer user we are the user we are learning the c++ programming and with the use of different syntax we will generate different types of programs okay so that's why it is telling to you right uh, C++ is an extension. Yes, before C++ programming, there was the programming C, right? It was the uh, procedural based programming. There are the few lacking point. That's why this programming language was, right? Not successful in handling of the real scenario problem. Okay. But when C++ programming came into in existence, it was coming with the concept of OOPS programming right which is having the uh, so many types of techniques or concepts to handle the real scenario data with the help of uh, the concept of class and object okay right so who is the developer of uh, c++ programming b arne strostrop okay basically he was the person who is working in the at&t bell laboratories and in 1980s he was inventing the uh, language C++ with the use of so many types of concept of C, right? So uh, under this language, there is a lot of use of the concept of OOPS programming. In the later chapters, we will learn, okay? So basically under the object-oriented programming, now which kind of approach is there, this and why we are uh, right forcing this approach every time? We are learning this approach because the reason is that this language having a capability to managing large and complex program, right? Okay, so when the chapter explanation will going to be over now, that time you are very much able to find out or write, recognize C++ character sets, tokens, basic data types, which kind of data types we are using. And you are very much efficient to know the utility of different data types. Okay, different types of operators. Right now, you are very much efficient in the identification between implicit or explicit conversion. I told you each and everything one by one. All right, you are very much aware about the input output stream supported by C++. This is the important topic of this chapter. At least you will receive uh, one to two questions from this topic. Explain the structure of C++ programming, right? And you are going to learn simple uh, C++ program. So here you can see that C++ character set. What is character set? That means it's a bunch of valid character. Student, am I audible to you? Both of you? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So character sets are basically what? They are the valid character, right? If, uh, if I take the example of English language, if there are no, there is uh, no single alphabet, can we speak? Can we work in English? No, not at all. So that is the importance of character set. Character set is the collection of valid character by which a language will rely, right? A character represent what? Anything, right? A letter, a digit from maths, any other special character, special sim sim symbol like hash, at the rate, semicolon, colon, plus, minus, multiply. So the C++ programming also has some character set. Right. So we will learn it one by one. Right. So in this table, basically, you are going to learn the basic data, which is going to be used. What letters in both format, either in uppercase or in lowercase. Right. Digits, you know that, right, already that how many digits are under, uh, under in maths? Total 10 from 0 to 9. Special characters are what? Space plus minus multiply divide okay right and this is exponent this is divide this is pair of brackets okay different different brackets are there these are the round brackets this is these are square brackets these are curly braces right this is the symbol of these are the logical comparator uh, comparison uh, operator this is used for equal to two uh, check the equality between two terms and this is used for check the unequality between two terms this is for greater than less than 
this is the dot operator or we can say it period operator also as well okay right and this is your uh, single inverted comma this is your double inverted comma this is your dollar symbol this is your comma operator this is semi comma okay this is your colon okay uh, sorry this is your semicolon and this is your exclamatory mark this is your m percent basically we are saying this uh, symbol m percent m percent okay right this is m percent symbol this is question mark this is underscore this is hash symbol this is less than equals to this is greater than equals to this is at the rate now under white spaces horizontal tab blank space carriage return new line form feed okay now here you can see that basic data types basic data types what now you will learn about basic data types used in c++ right this is the way by which you can handle the data in different mode okay every program specifies a set of operation to be done in the sum data in particular sequence right so the data of many types can be categorized into different different category like there is a numerical data there is a character based alphabetical data there is a boolean value in boolean value na there is there are only two bits okay in boolean value there are only two bits what zero and one okay right false and true sometime we can use in the terms of true and false sometime we can use it in the terms of zero and one majority of the time we are using in the term of true or false okay so these kind of values are boolean value so c++ supports a large number of data types the built in and basic types of supported by c++ are integer theek hai floating point character type right now here you can see that data type character range is basically what this is these are the range this is your int short int long int float double and long double actually this is used for alphabetical data character based data this is used for integer why we are categorize int short int and long int because it is depending on the uh, number length how big number is that right and why we are bifurcating these data type to save our memory because we need to use our memory in more best manner right suppose there is a program right who is having the tendency to process the data in very shorter manner and you are using long int so definitely for a short range you have occupied a very large space of computer memory so it's a wastage of memory so it's better with the use of these different data types na for integer number you will use the data type according to your number length as uh, same thing will be happen here this is for your decimal number okay float is used for normal kind of number double is quite bigger as you can see the memory criteria over here and long double is also the uh, right very uh, used for very large number now here you can see that integer is what it's a whole number without decimal these kind of numbers are integer theek hai they are in negative or positive theek hai floating point type kya hai aapka float hai so a floating point number has a decimal number theek hai right and as you know the concept of the mathematics there is a two part right bifurcated with this dot operator so before the dot this is the integer part of this decimal number and this is the fractional part of this decimal number either we can mention this decimal number in positive or negative both of the manner okay character type is what character type is char okay character type is what char so it is a non numeric data type consisting of a of single alpha numerical character theek hai valid character types are what this one now you can see here uh, 90% students are thinking na character type data are uh, having only what the uh, alphabets no not at all actually can you tell me what is the difference between this nine and this nine can you give me the difference between uh, the nine which is mentioned under the single inverted comma and the uh, normal line actually this is your integer 
okay this is your integer but this is your character char data type always you, you always you will be mentioned under single inverted comma doesn't matter it's a alphabet it's a numerical data or it's a special character when you will put the single inverted comma or double inverted comma along with your character so it will be a character for the compiler are you getting my point that's why when you will take the number under integer na int data type aap dekh sakte ho yahan par under integer na so there is no inverted comma over there but in character doesn't matter data will be alphabetical or character okay uh, right data should be mentioned under right character uh, under sin uh, single inverted comma is it clear to you nishan and uh, leon yes ma'am uh Okay. Uh, so it's a single and single quote, right? It's not double quote. Yeah, but uh, there is not compulsion. We can mention the double quotes as well. But okay. normally users are using single uh, inverted comma. Okay. So uh, now there is a next topic: tokens, right? Tokens are what? Uh, tokens are basically uh, what? They are the uh, anything. which you will come into your brain to write a program to type something inside your software theek okay? hai that is the token this is a common name for each and everything which you are going to use under c++ programming syntax wise okay so that's why they are saying to you a token is a group of character that logically belong together the programmer can write a program by using tokens theek okay? hai so c++ using the following uh, types of token what there are different types of tokens like keywords identifiers literals punctuator and operators so one by one we will learn it kyunki in par questions aate hain okay so definitely you can receive the question and there is a something uh, definitely uh, examiner can ask theek hai तो so एग्जामिनर आपसे ये भी पूछ सकता है कि व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस नाइन एंड दिस वन नाइन ठीक है नाउ यू आर एबल टू ठीक है टेल द डिफरेंस दैट फर्स्ट वन नाइन इज द न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू बट इट्स अ कैरेक्टर ठीक है व्हेन वी हैव टू मेंशन इट वी कैन यूज दिस कैरेक्टर दिस डेटा टाइप बट व्हेन वी हैव टू यूज दिस वैल्यू वी हैव वी नीड टू यूज दिस डेटा टाइप बिकॉज इट्स अ integer number okay now hopefully uh, token is clear to you now keyword okay what is keyword actually they are the predefined word just like your english dictionary in english where is the words are stored in dictionary na they are the ready made one right we don't know who had who have developed we are as a uh, english speaker reader writer okay we are simply use those words from that dictionary just like that in c++ programming right if we talking about software wise there is certainly a library right in that library all the reserve word pre defined words are stored okay so here you can see that keywords there are some keywords in c++ which have pre defined meaning to compiler called keywords ठीक है सम कॉमनली यूज कीवर्ड्स आर व्हाट दीज आर द कीवर्ड्स एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑल द कीवर्ड्स आर राइट ऑल द कीवर्ड्स आर ठीक है मेंशन इन स्मॉल लेटर ओके एंड देयर आर टोटल लेट मी काउंट 35 यस देयर आर टोटल 35 कीवर्ड्स अंडर सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग are you getting my point and one by one we will use it there is na nothing to learn about but fir bhi aap ek bar iski uh, tables ko ek bar review kar lena theek hai sometime aapko aa jata hai multiple choice questions mein fib mein ya true false mein ki is that keyword theek hai so keyword are the fixed word simply we are using it right and there are the rule where we can use and where we can't use it theek hai normally The, this is the baseline of your C plus plus program, right? And we will use it time to time. Okay. 
every keyword have a meaning that we will discuss in the next class as you know the time 